has the honor of announcing that the Games of the 30th Olympiad in 2012 are awarded to the city of London. When the Olympic flame is lit, London will become the first city in the modern era to host the Olympics a remarkable three times, having already had the honour in 1908 and 1948. The Olympic flame will come within 10 miles of 95% of people in the UK, Isle of Man, Grenzie and Jersey. Creating history, the torch will be borne by 100-year-old Diana Gold and 11-year-old Dominac being the oldest and the youngest participants of the relay. Astounding 205 nations are expected to take part in 300 events at the Games. From progress on the Olympic Park to thousands of people already inspired by London 2012, the Games are coming to life across UK. Yet another milestone in the preparations of Olympics is the completion of the construction of all venues and infrastructure beforehand. The sport arenas including the Olympic Park, Aquatic Centre and Velodrome will surely be a treat to everyone's eyes. The Olympics remain the most compelling search for excellence that exists in sports and maybe in life itself. Jesse Owens, Usain Bolt, Michael Phelps and Mark Spitz are only a few of the unending lists of miraculous Olympic players who not only have won numerous golds and silvers but have resided forever in the hearts of millions of people. But when, where and how Olympics was won? How was it different from the present day conduct? And what were the developments it sought to implicate as decades and centuries passed by? Olympic Games are shrouded in myths and legends, but records indicate that they began in 776 BC in Olympia, Greece. Initially, the tournament only entertained amateur athletes, whereas professionals were barred from participating. Interestingly, practicing or training by athletes was considered cheating. Gradually, this prevailing concept faded away and the International Olympic Committee came into existence in 1894. Olympics grew more than an international tournament or a mega event on the background of humanity and morality when it first commenced Para-Olympics in 1960. It was a separate tournament for people with physical and mental disabilities. It not only uplifted the spirit of Olympics, but gave those people a purpose and meaning in their lives. of the world ever escapes the cap of controversies and ill will of the people. Olympics is therefore no exception. When the Black Power Salute was initiated by Tommy Smith and John Carlos in 1968 Mexico Olympics, it did not only provoke massive criticism but blew away the hearts of many Olympic lovers. When 11 Israeli Olympic athletes were brutally murdered by the Palestinian terrorist group Black September during the 1972 Summer Olympics in Munich, it completely took the world by storm, personifying shame and remorse. Chemical giant Dow say they are fully committed to providing the decorative wrap for London's Olympic Stadium despite continuing criticism of its involvement because of their link to the 1984 Bhopal gas disaster.
कुछ बात है कि हस्ती मिटती नहीं हमारी सदियों रहा है दुश्मन दौरे जमा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदू सता हमारा हिंदू सता हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हिंदू सता हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा हम बुलबुले हैं इसके ये गुल सिता हमारा हमारा सारे जहाँ से अच्छा London is on its way of creating history for the very third time. London has raised the bar on how to deliver a lasting legacy as they've transformed their greatest challenge to be their greatest opportunity.